Hey there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install WooCommerce plugin in your WordPress and then how you can add products and create a simple store for your product. First thing you have to do is you can download the plugin from official WooCommerce website which is woothemes.com slash woocommerce or you can go to dashboard then look for the plugins tab then click on add new link type in woocommerce click on install now it will take a few moments to install in between you can check out this plugins extension area it supports PayPal, FedEx, UPS, Amazon Payments to checkouts, FreshBooks, Zapier and few other extensions which are local or your payment system like pay you support in US, Australia, India and UK. For shipping you can go for DHL, UPS and any other shipping trackers. Okay. Activate the plugin. So we can go directly to the page. in between let me check the extension that are free so WooCommerce is installed install WooCommerce pages so these pages will be added to your menu and if not you have to manually edit the menu ok now go for the settings okay so this is our WooCommerce tab inside which we can add the location so let's say my basic location here is India let me choose my state okay selling locations sell to all countries store notice enable site-wide store notice text or leave it as it uh, currency should be in US dollar okay currency position should be right or uh, let's say with some space okay that looks good then we have styles to choose from fronted is like this and looks good to me save the changes so we can go for another tab now we have products so in this tab you will get to check what sort of product pages to show how many products to show Do you want add to cart functionality with Ajax and redirect to cart page after successful addition and leave the rest as default for now save the changes now go for tax if you have any tax related uh, options if only if you, if you have physical products that you often ship ok 
can enable tax and calculation then make sure it gets entered with tax then calculate tax based on customer shipping address, billing address usually it goes with the shipping address and then round figure for subtotal okay and rest of the specific options added to tax and go for checkout what do you want to show in checkout coupons enable no don't enable coupons for now enable guest checkouts okay for secure checkout okay if you have SSL certificate then for secure checkout should be enabled otherwise leave it as is then you have card checkout terms and condition page to set up here if you don't have terms and conditions leave it then in points order pay order received or at payment method you can also add payment gateways here paypal cash on delivery check payment and direct bank transfer for now we will add cash on delivery so that there are no settings for it that we have to worry about if you choose paypal then you have to go to paypal settings and update likewise and then you have accounts if the customer is regular and have used WordPress system to log into your store and add and remove the products and we have shipping so for shipping we have various options here at rate free shipping international delivery local delivery local pickup so choose the one that is applicable to you okay and then just go to the product pages okay do we have plenty of pages here we have shop page to edit this is our page okay there are no products right now but we are going to add it okay. see if any good thing you have so that extension can make use of simple so this looks simple to me simple look is much better for our store right now the more complicated and dark themes you choose harder it is for the people to shop around okay so we have no products here right now aiming to add them go to the products tab click on add products so this is similar to the posting on wordpress let's say if i want to use a comic I say quote book collection collection of quotes ebook okay so we have product image setting here use upload files 
and just pick up any image that you think is good for you Okay, this is my book right now. I'm going to use it for product image. Okay, set product image and hit publish. And then we are going to reload this page. this is our product so when a user clicks here will be taken to the product page and the information related to the product will be displayed here and here product description collection of quotes and then we can add customer reviews customer can do the guest review and those reviews will be used directly as a post comments so there is no specific review option here okay I have selected cash on delivery options that's why you don't see any payment method online so you have to specifically mention here how the cash on delivery option should be handled by customer how to give the address etc if you select the PayPal then you get to choose the process okay in case of car if it's empty it will be shown okay so this is simple way to install our WooCommerce and then adding the product in next few tutorials I will walk you through how you can add PayPal system or and other e-commerce extension i hope you find this story helpful if you have any suggestion uh, do let me know thank you